Hey guys, uh, what you just got done seeing was me breaking my collarbone. Uh, I'm just going to dissect this crash a little bit and take a look at it. But uh, basically we, we were at the end of the day, like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'd already done, I don't know, 30, 35 miles worth of riding up and down mountains, doing six, seven miles of tough single track, lots of rocks, exploring. You know, it was a long day, but I was wide awake, feeling good. And I just hit this rock wrong, basically. Um, you know, in the video, you can, I'll watch, we can show it again, and you'll see I, I, I'm just going along, and I think I remember trying to avoid this rock as I was going out of it, at it, but then I hit it with my front tire, my front forks compressed, and I basically went over somewhat to the side and over the handlebars, and very, at a very slow speed. But... Uh, the, the worst part about it was is I landed completely on my shoulder. I didn't, I didn't put my arm out. I didn't put my hand out. And, you know, some say you might have broken your wrist then, but I didn't put anything out. And so I took the full brunt of falling on um, the tip of my shoulder and on my, my left arm. And uh, later we find out that my um, shoulder blow got broken. So anyways, um, a good portion of this video is me whining and crying and you can listen to that. And luckily I had uh, two other fellow riders with me. There was five of us total, um, but ride with Will and uh, another guy named Aaron right in the 690 KTM was there. And Aaron just happened to be uh, an ex-medic, so he had a lot of gear. Um, I also had some, some medical stuff, but he definitely had more than I did. And he was able to basically diagnose over these 10 or 15 minutes that most likely the, the clavicle, the, the collarbone is broken. And uh, when, I, when the wreck first happened, I really thought it was probably just getting the air knocked out of me because I couldn't breathe. Um, that's why you'll basically hear me whining a lot. I could not get catch my breath, so I thought it was either ribs or, you know, that time when you get your, your breath knocked out of you pretty well. It's really hard to breathe. Um, but it did end up being uh, the clavicle. And so let's, uh, let's just rewind real quick. And I'll stop this and show you what it looks like. So that rock right there at the bottom of the screen is uh, what I hit. My uh, forks compressed and I went over to the left. So a few things we, we learned basically, uh, you know, always pay attention. I just wasn't, I guess, paying attention enough. I was trying to avoid the rock next to the rock that I hit and I ended up hitting a smaller rock but just didn't have the speed and, and let my bike compress. I think I had my weight forward and, you know, I just went over the handlebars and this is what ended up happening. Um, another lesson is always ride with people. I mean, there was five of us. Two of them were further up, and they didn't come back for 20 minutes until they realized something maybe went wrong, and that's that's okay. We all slightly separate a little, you know, when we're out riding, and it just sometimes happens. Uh, but there was three of us, and um, I had some medical gear and lots of water, and um, another guy, Aaron here, um, who actually diagnosed what I what my problem was. He had lots of medical gear, which was great, um, and we were able to make a sling and sling my arm and get me out of there. So this was at probably maybe 11,000 feet or so, 10,000 feet. And, um, you know, it took us a long time to get out of there. We, the guys had to uh, shuttle my bike and ride their bike. You know, two of them would go up, get my bike, bring it down a ways, and then hide that, but hide my bike, and then shuttle me down further. And then two of them would go back up riding a single bike and one of them would ride my bike down. So the whole shuttling process took 
hours on end, and um, we were quite far from our cars. Um, we had gone over some pretty gnar uh, single track, and we weren't going back that way. It was like three or four in the afternoon, um, and it had snowed this day. You can see that it's nice and sunny here, but um, just a few hours before this, we had been at 13,000 feet, and it had snowed and hailed and rained on us, so you never know what the day is going to bring when you're out um, doing this type of stuff, especially here in Colorado. Um, but, you know, we had, a, we had safety precautions. We were wearing gear. Um, the only thing I wasn't wearing was any kind of shoulder pad. I'm not sure if this if that would have helped this. Um, but it was, a, it was a super fun day up until this point. Um, but the guys ride with Will and the yellow there and Aaron, the other guy, and then um, uh, this Mountain Life and Tommy were also further down the road but came back later. And all of them helped to uh, get me out of there because I couldn't use my right arm anymore. Um, I tried to. At first, you can see I'm, I'm leaning on it, um, but then later it starts to just kind of seize up and go numb, and I couldn't catch my breath. And after a while, once we started, I, I got on the back of one of the other guy's bikes. Um, you know, I couldn't really move it much, and it was causing me to kind of blur my vision in and out. And So anyways, um, you know, now I'm sitting here editing this video with a sling on, and I have a four to eight week, uh, no riding motorcycles, uh, and get healed up um, but you know it all worked out and so you can see there I have my I'm leaning on my arm but you guys can watch the rest of this video or listen to me whine um, but you know I'll be posting other videos about this day um, this is just how it ended and so you know always be safe out there ride with others carry some gear at least a you know a sling or some um, medical tape and stuff and you know don't don't ride alone That looks like pinch the you pinch a nerve up in your neck. shoulder. It happens to guys that play football all the time when they get hit in a certain spot on their shoulder. It's called a stinger. It goes from your neck down to your. Yeah, so like my arm is. The good news is no. it's only temporary. Sorry guys, I gotta lay. No, dude, do it. Oh, that's what I do. I gotta fix my pants. So. I don't mind the shoulder. It's the air. Right, yeah, I probably got just the wind knocked out of you. You know if you hit your stomach or no I didn't hit anything what like what not that I hit on the bike it was when I went to land I I landed right on the on my tip of my shoulder like I uh -huh. went to roll and it knocked the wind out of me into my chest like my shoulder compressing knocked the wind out of me well if we had radios we could call those guys yeah. Well, Sorry, then. next time I'll, I'll have two and then you can bring this one. And... We should probably figure it out. Yeah, they always stop and then I bombed on my knee earlier, dude, and I thought I was going to fucking die. Not pass out, but I landed on like the rock. Yeah. Right here on the inside of my knee. That shit hurts. Fucking yeah. hurt, dude. Yeah. I was barely moving and it just hit that rock and. Yeah. My compress, my front's compressed, and I went over the bar mm -hmm. just enough. Oh, fuck. Someone help me. You want to get up? Sit up. Just I'm, I just want to sit up on my ass. Uh, I'm just going to put that on there real quick. Ready? Yeah. Uh, my hat, oh, yeah, my hat. It's over here somewhere. I figure since we're off-road. Right? On private, or, well, we're on, not private, Ready? but... I don't think this is private, I'm not sure. It's just closed. Take your time, dude. I got some trail mix you guys show. No? Yeah, it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. I don't think anything's broken. I don't think anything. No, if it was broken, broken, you'd know it. Can you feel this bone right here and kind of push on it? Does it hurt when you push on it? This hurts like a little, not bad. It's coming back like the. 
but it's really hard to like get my arm up like it's Whew. hard to use it. Yeah, just left one there. Can you get into Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. You want to get her? See this little small pocket? Yep. I don't think I can hand it to you. Uh, There's aspen in there. I got uh no, ibuprofen. The, the, the pocket above it. Oh gotcha. Yeah, there's your hand though. One like six? Cold pack. <laughs> One. One? Yeah. I'm just gonna grab my finger if you don't mind. No. Water this too. is the one I carry for yeah. snowmobiling. Pretty good. I was thinking. Are you able to grab it or you want me to? Okay. Oh. Yeah, don't use it. I thought I might have an ice pack in here. I mean, I got ibuprofen and stuff, but. That's 800 what I just took, so. Oh, shit. Well, I'm yeah, so. <laughs> this is all bandages and wounds, so. We'll just take it easy, head back. It feels weird. Does it feel attached? Like I feel it going. You, you got to see it. You don't yeah. have it. If it was a... broke, you wouldn't be able to lift your arm up. Yeah, can you move it just a tiny bit? Like your shoulder, like your elbow kind of. Got that. If you want to try that. Can I please for oh, a yeah, couple dude. minutes? Can you open it? Like no, well, it's gel. You got to rub it on. Oh. It's biofreeze. It's like fucking insane. You have to take your shirt off too. I think I can get in there because it's right. Oh, look. Can't what? see. Mm. It really depends on anatomically what get, you look I like. I can feel. Put your hands down at your side. I can feel that it's. Well, you're the ones right there. If you touch them, it doesn't bother me. I think it's pure, like, like it's just. Yeah, um, I think it would hurt if you would have touched it. I think your clavicle would have broken, actually. Um, so what we need to do is we got to get you out to a road. <laughs> if it's not torn, if it's not broken, it's ripped. It's, it, yeah. Um, I don't know how much this is going to help, but here I'm going to put it on your hand and you rub the gel on. Hold on, I'll move your shirt for you. Right there. I can't see right there as well. It's still in the yeah, that doesn't hurt when I push on it. Can you see? If you no, it doesn't hurt. Probably not broken. I mean, like, can, can you feel how you are anatomically? It feels like there's like a crunch. No, I can feel like it right there. It's broke. It's broke right here. Which let's not freak out. It's not a big deal. It's a floating bone. So, um. Probably what we'll do is, you are able to move it? Yeah, I can feel more. Um, can you go like this? I think I might be able to get out. Really, it's like above your nipples is when it's, that's when this thing kicks in. Yeah. So if you can keep your arm below your nipples, we can get you out to the road. I'll just go get the truck. But I can wrap it too. Hold that. I might need some more. Well, maybe it's in here. This is like the little. Does it hurt like at all, or is it just kind of numb? It's numb and it hurts like even when I move it a little. Right. It doesn't hurt. It just feels. I off. feel like there's two things rubbing. The, the bone ends. And I kind of want to move, get you out of here before it starts to hurt. Because once it starts yeah. to hurt, you're going to be really fucking pissed off. Don't, don't lean. I wouldn't lean on you. Well, you're not leaning on it. So, um, 
一日に。If I can get over to at least that road where we came. I mean, it's pretty easy walking,、yeah. honestly. We just have one of the guys come back. I might, in fact, try to walk a little, at least to where that ridge where we can camp. Where、see. it's flat? Yeah, I like yeah. just to see if I can walk. Yeah. How do you wrap it? Like, what does that mean? Well, there's not really a way to wrap it. I'm just trying to figure out. I was a fireman before I was a cop. I was an EMT for 20 years, but really, I'm going to go. The idea is just to put some pressure on it. To, I'm going to hold it. Yeah, hold that right there, but like that. Got it? Pain's not too Well, we want to put some、no. pressure on it because that's going to kind of keep it from moving around,、yeah. which is what will cause the pain. Even though it's going to be kind of ugly, my bandage under. Boys, they haven't come back yet. Yeah, me too. Hopefully, they're not fucked up. Okay, does that feel too tight or does it feel okay? No, it feels good. Okay. I'm actually going to tie this. Thank you. They usually stay better that way. We may have to stop and readjust it if that knot gets too close. Let me know if you want more. That's really all we can do for right now. Can you grab my bag off my legs first? And, yes. And help me. Please put、up. this shit away and I'll help you move all your shit. Just give me a second. I just want to stand. Hold on. One, two. Just watch your, you're off camera here so don't fall. You good? Feel free to lean on me if you need to. Figures the only day I don't bring my sat phone. <laughs>